I think there's something happening out there. Warren, what do you see? Well, not too much, Jim. The Bay Bridge wins the gold seal this morning for super congestion. I, I think Uh-oh. people are buying their commute books for sure this morning because cars are backed up all the way to the Grove Chapter Freeway. But the omniscient overview of the bridge shows that all lanes are open. So just uh, a lot of folks uh, a little bit late buying their commute books. The bridge starts to sell them early mm-hmm. uh, now, about the 27th of each month. So a little planning uh, would... Uh, get rid of the first of the month of congestion and folks would do that. Yeah. But otherwise around the bay we're not doing bad at all. Everything is reasonably good shape, no accidents working at the moment. I have a whole way to solve this commute problem. You know. Allow nobody across any bridge with only one person in the car. You've got to have yeah, two. Yeah, that's been tried by it, experts. It has? Yeah, they, uh, they handled I, I guess it was when you were in Los Angeles, the Joel Bridge Authority uh, passed out a whole slug of uh, questionnaires, cards, for people to fill out when they were crossing the Bay Bridge and sent back in and mm-hmm. to indicate whether they would or would not get involved in a carpool if it was available. Mm-hmm. And the response was almost totally negative. People don't want to be in a carpool. They don't want to get in a car want. with anybody they don't like or know. Like that's a car, boy, they want to be alone. That's right, and with their own thoughts. That's right. Well, everybody has that right, you know, but just charge them double when they do that. Okay. That will get them. Something. I got another idea too. Make all all uh, commuting fares, if they are on on public transportation, tax deductible. 
Warren didn't like that. He left. Okay. <laughs> McDonald's, a dollar still gets you two juicy hamburgers, our famous French fries, an icy cold Coca Cola, and change. McDonald's, that's the place to go for delicious food. And uh, I think I lost a page here. Well, that's enough. McDonald's for delicious food. How's that? Mighty Clouds of Joy. B.J. Thomas, just the raindrops are falling on my head, kid, and it's uh, four and a half minutes before eight. If you like to laugh, then you should be on your way to the headliner room at Harris Reno, because that's where one of the funniest ladies in the world is appearing right now. Her name, Cody Fields. Chances are you've seen her on television. But those classic comedy routines are only one side of Cody Field's talent. She's a master at the kind of comedy that only comes from a live audience. There's almost nobody in the business who can make an ad lib funnier than Cody Field. She's appearing with singer Tommy Leonetti and John Carlson and his orchestra. So if you like to laugh, don't miss Cody Fields at Harris. She's appearing now through July 14th in the headliner room at Harris Reno. Tody Fields opens tonight in the headliner room at Harris Reno. I remember the last time I saw Tody, uh, she was saying, uh, can I have another chocolate fudge sundae, please? In the South Shore room at Harris Tahoe, see Lawrence Welk through July 14th. That's right, Lawrence Welk, who once on the television, network television, said, ain't now, ladies and gentlemen, um, the voice in the band played that great Duke Ellington classic, Take a Train. <laughs> this guy has a new Ford LTD. Now I find it's Valcar's weekend special. Six dollars a day plus mileage, two-day minimum, Friday through Monday. Includes gas, insurance, blue-chip stamps. 
I'll bet he's got a Valcar going in L.A., Burbank, Palm Springs, Ontario, San Francisco, San Diego, San Jose, Oakland, and Phoenix. Guess if it's your money, you'll rent a Valcar. Step up and rent a Valcar. And the money you save is all yours. P.S.A. Take a letter, Miss Sweeney. Yes, sir. Harry Duffy, etc. Get it from the files. Dear Harry, just to remind you that we can get together any time when the craggiest deal is there's a PSA flight every hour on the hour between Los Angeles and San Francisco. Over 160 PSA flights a day connecting all of Northern and Southern California. Sure, so if you miss one, you don't. You're just early for the next PSA flight. Uh, put that in, too. Uh, when can you have that tightness, Meanie? As soon as you get off my lap. PSA gives you all your... Two minutes till 8 o'clock. Mercy face, oi como va. into the distance to the music of Percy Faith. We remind you that Les Vogel Chevrolet is still dancing down there at Chevy Island, where you can be picky, picky, picky. You can dance with Les Vogel or buy a Chevrolet or dance with one of the salesmen or whatever, but buy a Chevrolet. They have everything you want in beautiful new 71 Chevys, from a classic Chevrolet Caprice to a compact little Vega. Les Vogel Chevrolet, they suggest that you be as particular as you want. Because they will find the exact Chevy that fits. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Okay. And pick the car of your choice at Les Vogel Chevrolet. Great place to buy cars. They're priced right, too, like a practical Chevy Nova with radio. Just twenty five sixty five at Les Vogel. Oh, one other thing. Les Vogel Chevrolet has the highest trade-in allowances you can find anywhere. So why don't you go to Les Vogel Chevrolet if you're looking for a car and put them to the test. Just go in there and say, okay. I want this and this and this and this kind of Chevy. And make them deliver. At Chevy Island, where Mission Street meets South Van Nest in San Francisco. Les Vogel Chevrolet and, of course, Leslie Leasing. Your headquarters for Chevrolet cars and Chevrolet trucks. Les Vogel Chevrolet. It's 20 seconds past 8 o'clock. This is Jim Lang. I'll be right back with a few hellos. Charlie Fox. And uh, some other things right after the news on KSFO 560 San Francisco. And now, here's Jim. KSFO News, presented by Pennzoil, 100% pure Pennsylvania motor oil that's worth asking for. This is a pretty different Thursday over in Paris. For the past couple of years, every Thursday, a peace talk session is scheduled, and usually, as you know so well by now, not very much happens. Today, however, shortly after the meeting got underway, a seven-point plan drawn up by the communists was plunked down on the table. And after first glance, American Ambassador David Bruce called for an adjournment to give the proposal a thorough going over. The plan calls for the release of war prisoners at the same time U.S. troops are pulled out of the war according to a timetable agreed upon by both sides. A change from former communist offers which have insisted on a U.S. withdrawal deadline before the release of POWs could even be discussed. In Vietnam this morning, U.S. military men say that 6,000 American troops are getting pull-out orders today, biggest single-day total so far. The U.S. battle death toll last week is put at 21, while big American bombers still hit enemy troop concentrations in the area where the 6,000 going-home fighting men are pulling out. No official word yet from either the White House or the Justice Department on yesterday's Supreme Court ruling that's putting articles on U.S. involvement in Vietnam based on secret Pentagon papers right back on the front pages of newspapers everywhere this morning. The draft doesn't exist anymore. It ran out at midnight, but the selective service system goes on. Paperwork continues, and all local draft boards are open, even though they can legally draft no one. Young men just turning 18 don't get a break, though. They must still register for the draft within five days of their birthday. The draft bill renewal is still in a House Senate Conference Committee. 
It's a little more than two minutes past eight o'clock right now. We'll be back with more news for you in a second, but uh, let me ask you a question. Have you met the family? The Pennzoil family, I mean. In addition to famous Pennzoil motor oil with Z7 for your car, there's a whole family of Pennzoil special oils. And each one of them carries Pennzoil's reputation for top quality and dependability. The Pennzoil family includes special oils for outboard motors, airplanes, trucks, snowmobiles, and motorcycles, as well as racing and other high-performance cars. In other words, there's a Pennzoil lubricant for just about everything that moves. When you get acquainted with the Pennzoil family, you'll find you don't have to remember all kinds of brand-name lubricants for different types of engines. All you have to remember is the name Pennzoil. Because whether you're flying, floating, driving, or racing, Pennzoil is the toughest, most complete motor oil you can buy. So next time you need a lubricant for an engine of any kind, ask for Pennzoil. There's a member of the family that's just made for you. The red Russian flag is draped in black. Peter Shaw with word on that from Moscow. Peter, come in, please. The three Soyuz 11 cosmonauts will be buried in the Kremlin Wall tomorrow afternoon after a hero's funeral in Red Square. The Soviet Union can pay no higher honor to Georgi Dobrovolsky, Vladislav Volkov, and Viktor Patsayev. A morning nation's best scientists today examined their bodies, their spaceship, and their flight records to try to find the mysterious force that killed them. Peter Shaw in Moscow. American space experts think the communists were killed by a mechanical accident, not by the long-term effect of weightlessness. The American space people say their program will not be stalled by that Russian tragedy. A lot of labor items in this morning's news. Bill Hayward leads off. The big waterfront strike is on at this hour. Pickets from the 15,000-member West Coast Longshoremen's Union being posted in the Bay Area and at ports from San Diego to Bellingham, Washington. Contract negotiations between the union and the employer group, the Pacific Maritime Association, breaking down last night. A longshoreman's worker here calls the action a momentous one. This is the first time in 23 years that there's a complete cleavage of work on the waterfront. And the men are adamant in their determination to win. They will win. In other labor news, AC transit buses are running normally this morning with a threatened strike averted by late-night negotiations, which have produced a tentative settlement. Airporter buses between San Francisco and the International Airport are idle again this morning, about 50 drivers out on strike against the bus line. Union carpenters and tunnel laborers are still off the job in Northern California. About 50 local construction projects are idle. No word on renewed negotiations. Time is five minutes past eight o'clock right here. I should remind you that this portion of KSFO News has been presented by the Ask For Motor Oil, Pennzoil. When your car's worth caring for, Pennzoil's worth asking for. And now from up on high, Warren Bogus with this traffic update. A uh, report just in a few moments ago from the California Highway Patrol indicates a stalled car San Francisco bound on the James Link Freeway near 4th Street, which could be causing a problem there, but outside of that, everything is in good shape around the bay. The uh, commute book fires on the Bay Bridge caused a few moments of frustration uh, for a while with traffic back up to the Grove Chapter Freeway, but that has simmered down now to uh, the point that there is just a very short delay at the toll plaza. No accidents uh, reported at the present time on any of our freeways. A uh, half moment out right now. Do you believe in mermaids? A lot of people do. Please believe in mermaids. They believe in you. Ask any mermaid you happen to see. What's the best tuna? Kick out of the sea. Prime filet tuna with the tender touch. Kick out of the sea has the mermaid touch. Ask any mermaid you happen to see. What's the best tuna? Kick out of the sea. 35 years ago, when fearless workers strung cables and poured concrete hundreds of feet above the surging Golden Gate, directors of the bridge of building promised that when the staggering load of bonds taken out to pay for the bridge was paid up, the toll would disappear. The final bond will be paid this morning, but you commuters will continue to pony up your 50 cents every morning. Over all the years, $37 million in construction costs and $39 million in interest have been paid. And the bridge, actually the Golden Gate Bridge Highway and Transportation District, has now accumulated a surplus of nearly $23 million, which it's using on several mass transportation projects, such as a ferry boat fleet, 
a set of first-class buses to replace Greyhound commute service from Marin, and a continuing study of how best to develop the Marin Transportation Corridor in the future. The bridge now carries 33 million vehicles a year, three times what the most optimistic maximum volume predictions were in 1937. Just thought you'd like to know. Right now, Wall Street this Thursday from Richard Graffis of Walston and Company. Dick? In Paris, new Viet Cong proposals regarding prisoner release have made themselves felt on Wall Street. 18 points plus for the Dow Jones Industrial Average on Tuesday and Wednesday, and you can add another 2.41 more to that this morning. It's two to one bulls over bears. Senate hearings will continue on the subject of financial first aid for Lockheed. Western Pacific Railway showed a profit in the first half of 1971 versus a first half $2.7 million loss last year. President Nixon has called a meeting next Tuesday with steel negotiators to discuss the status of their contract talk. Nixon wants to impress both labor and management that the steel makers are pricing themselves out of world markets, and the strike against U.S. copper producers got underway first thing this morning. Oh, buddy Jeff Skull spending this week on vacation up at Lake Tahoe, but manning the locker room for him this morning's Gary Whitman. Okay, Chet. Well, Stan Smith of Pasadena has advanced to the final of the Wimbledon Tennis Championship by beating Tom Gorman of Seattle 6-3-8-6-6-2 this morning. Smith's victory ends the storybook advance of the unseated Gorman, who had beaten eight-seated Cliff Drysdale in the opening round of play, and then stunned Rod Laver with a straight set triumph in the quarterfinals. Defending champion John Newcomb of Australia faces the 36-year-old Ken Rosewall in the other semifinal, the winner of that match, to play Smith for the $9,000 first-place prize. The Giants open a home stand this afternoon when the Cardinals provide the competition, starting at 1 o'clock, 12.40 KSFO broadcast time. Giants losing in San Diego last night 2-1. And Minnesota jumped on Catfish Hunter for five runs in the second inning, went on for a 10-4 decision. And the 49ers are confirming that their number one draft choice, Ohio State Tim Anderson, has asked for his release because of a contract dispute. I hope you've got one more minute out there. Now United Airlines gives 747 coach passengers room to talk. I'd like you to meet an old schoolmate of mine. Ralph? My it's our new 747 friendship room in coach. A room where you can meet somebody, have a drink or a snack, try your hand at bridge, or just lounge around. How about some more ice? You know, I've got a suit. Oh, United 747 friendship room. It's as comfortable as your living room, as much fun as your favorite club. No other coach gives you so much comfort. Right, right fine. You sure this is coach? <laughs> United 747 Friendship Room in Coach. Enjoy it right now to New York City. Coming soon to Honolulu and Chicago. What's the weather like, Warren? Oh, uh, Chet, the weatherman in the spirit of total cooperation is apparently going to dish up a weekend full of uh, wonderful weather for... All of our three-day weekenders, the Northern California is snuggled up under the blanket blue right now, and everything indicates that it's going to stay snuggled up that way for at least the next five days, except along the coast, where a little coastal fog will uh, cover up in the mornings, but it'll burn off about around noon. Temperatures along the coast uh, will remain in the 60s inland in the Sacramento-San Joaquin Valleys. It's going to edge up into the 90s, and in between, it'll be in between. Sounds great. That's KSFO News up to this very second. Chet Castleman reporting. KSFO News, always up to the second. And the third sometimes, too. Now, first and foremost, Jim Lang. Hello, Chester, and good morning, everybody. Hello. Anthony Fernandez. Bonjour. Hello, buddy. Hello. Hello. There are many ways to say hello, my friend. It's easy. First of all, I want to welcome all the Giants back to town. Welcome back, and especially John Carruthers, the brand-new Giant who pitched so well the other night. Welcome to the city, my boy. And a big 
big hello and good morning to Mr. and Mrs. Bill Loudon. And to everybody at the Toronto Dominion Bank, brand new, just opening up today. Hello, everybody down there. May all your money be good money. Hello to Doug Allen this morning, and a special happy birthday to Butch Plain. Fireman down in Hillsboro, and your sister, Betty, is thinking of you. So am I. Wait, how come you? Yeah, come meet you. Hello there. Namaste, Mirado. Speak up. Speak up to my door. Good morning to Helen and Kirk McGurn. Good morning, and a happy anniversary. And Pat Hilliard's boys won today. Timothy David Hilliard. Happy birthday, Jim. Jack Schultz. Good morning. Kathy Becker, hello to you. And Roger Garrity. Thanks for the nice letter, Raj. And John Burrish and Roy Valerino and Dave uh, Costamagna and Colin Claxton and Russell Jones. Belated. One day late. Happy birthday to lovely Ruby Vial. Peggy Stewart, good morning. Joyce Coniglio, happy birthday. Eleanor Moran. Good morning, Ruth Nelson. Eileen Grady. Happy birthday, Eileen. And a happy wedding anniversary, 38th to Chet Nine of Bailey in Alameda, home of the great rookie, Chris Spire. Yes, sir. And hello to Chris Spire. And hello to all the Giants. And uh, back in town, this is a very big homestand, huh? Oh, by the way, hello to Big Lou Landini and his wife, Judy, too. Big Lou. Anybody named Big Lou, I don't want to mess with. I'd like you to meet Big Lou. Hi, Lou. Uh, nice guy. You want anything, Lou? My money? Whatever. Anybody named Big Anything, I avoid. Hello, this is Dick Van Dyke with the Kodak Singers. Hit it, fellas. Uh, let's uh, work on that. That hurt. Uh, while they're practicing, I can use the time to remind you of something else that's a little painful, like having a birthday party for one of your kids and not taking movies of it. Ta-da! Keep working. Now, here's the way to be ready for those special occasions. Get a Kodak Instamatic movie camera. They're so easy to use, you just drop in the film and shoot. And you get really beautiful color movies of your family, even if you've never taken movies before. There are several Kodak Instamatic movie cameras to choose from, starting at less than $35. Just remember the name Kodak, because... Tell us. Kodak makes your You did it. Get a Kodak Instamatic movie camera and show the Kodak singers how proud you are of them. <laughs> Going to be sunny today, 15 and a half past 8 right now, and uh, this is Thursday, heading into the long weekend, huh? We've heard many versions of the songs from Jesus Christ Superstar. This is one of the finest, I think, medleys, Orange Colored Sky, Simon Zielotti and Superstar. <laughs>
studio musician and uh, singer in Hollywood got work on that date. That's super. Orange-colored sky and a medley from Jesus Christ Superstar. This is the time of the day when we normally take uh, numbers. We go down through the the uh, list from 1 to 100 uh, and figure out who in the past or present uh, wore that number in any kind of a sport. And today we are to number 24. <clears throat> We all know there's only one, number 24. So we won't do it. Lucky's been part of the West for nearly 40 years. We've seen a lot happen to it. Some good, some bad. And we figured we had a responsibility to help keep the West the way it's been. So Lucky was the first brewery to start a recycling program for all its bottles and cans. You sell them back to us. This stops a lot of waste and makes a lot of sense. It also means that lucky empties aren't lying around on our western beaches or rivers or mountains or plains. We'll pay you 25 cents a case for empty lucky bottles, or one cent a bottle and half a cent each for empty lucky cans. With your cooperation, we can keep it lucky when you live in the West. It's lucky when you live out west. about recycling your Lucky Empties. Call Lucky Brewery San Francisco. The number is 467-2211. 467-2211. Now we go to the sky. Talk to our man, Hawk Guy. Hello, Hawk. Hello, Jim. How do things look as you head back into the sunshine? Well, certainly no problems uh, traffic-wise. The commuters are doing very well, and I'm in the sunshine right now. The Diablo Valley uh, showing no fog tendency whatsoever. And in fact, very warm out here. Uh, the three-day weekend is coming up, as you mentioned a minute ago, Jim, and yeah. the people are scattering in a thousand different directions, and I have a feeling that some of our listeners are scratching their heads trying to figure out how to scatter because of some transportation problem or another. So if uh, an airplane can uh, fit into their tra transportation picture, I just happen to know where they can charter one. That, right. of course, is at Pacific States Aviation, where a, a federally certificated air taxi operator, and uh, we hold all the appropriate licenses. So, if an airplane can do the job for you and get you out of town this weekend, give us a call at 685-4400. I would presume you're probably pretty busy over this weekend, too. We huh? uh, probably will be, yeah. We Reservations all, might be in order, huh? Always, yes, absolutely. Always a lot of charter flying on weekends because people like to get away to inaccessible spots, and they turn out to be just that unless you can fly in or something of that sort. Oh, I think I'm going to take advantage of you. Every time you talk about that, I get ideas of places I want to go. Up. And uh, I have some vacation time. I just signed a contract yesterday, so I'm oh, legally here now. Oh, and I have... Uh, <laughs> oh, day-to-day -day lang is now uh, long-term. Well, I come to think of it, I didn't sign it. It's just sitting there. Okay. I'd better run in and sign that, and then we'll talk. Okay, okay. see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Yeah. It's 22 and a half minutes past 8. On March 17, party bigwigs announced that the party candidate would be Sheldon Kravitz. The platform, Return America to the Simple Life. On March 18, Sheldon Kravitz paraded through town in a Toyota Corolla and totally destroyed the party platform. Kravitz, it's a simple life candidate. You're expected to stick to basic transportation. That's what I did. You call the Toyota Corolla basic transportation? Well, yeah. You call front disc brakes, bucket seats, tinted glass, and nylon carpeting basic? But it's all standard equipment. Okay, Mr. Simple Life Candidate, how about the automatic transmission and the air conditioning? Two options. Hey, maybe we should run them as the optional candidate. If you want to go back to the simple life, it will never get thrown away. Get your hands on a Toyota Corolla, the price is basic transportation in the U.S.A. Yes, it's a fine something. What are we selling here? We sold it already, right? That was the end of the... I said we weren't going to do number 24. Look at the phones ring. Let's see what the people, what they want. Hello, Jim Lang. Was it do it? Hmm? Uh, so are you going to do it? Am I going to do what? Uh, number 24 or 25. There's only one 24, right? Yeah, William A. Right. I did a research and I got uh, 30, 35 24s. And you want to read them off to me, huh? Yeah. I'll tell you, it would save a lot of trouble for taking calls. Why don't you just go right through your list? Okay. Start. Okay, the real one, Willie May. What? Not so fast. you got to speak clearly. The real one, Willie May. All right, okay. Then Jimmy Thomas of the 49ers. Okay. Jim Wood of the Astros. Mm-hmm. Dwayne Johnson of the Red Sox. Yep. Rick Berry. Yep. Leron Lee of the Padres. Right. Felipe Lou of the Yankees. Yep. Tony Perez of the Reds. Yep. 
Dennis Holman and the Cowboys. Right. Spencer Haver when he played with the Denver Rockets. Right. Willie Brown of the Raiders. Right. Keith Erickson, Erickson of the Lakers. Right. Mark Stansky of the Mets. Right. Mike Wigan of the Yankees. Right. 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 Who is that? Vincente. Oh, okay. All right. All right. All right. Try a kick of that cooling power. Take a break in a dial shower. Aren't you glad you died? Don't you wish everybody did? Okay. Eddie Fisher of the Angels. Yeah. Eddie Leone of the Indians. Yeah. Mickey Stanley of the Tigers. Yeah. Blue Cross of the Brewers. Yeah. Diego Seguin of the A. Okay. No more the Boys. <laughs> right? <laughs> um, now a big sale of good mileage tires from your local Shell dealer. It's Shell's number one tire sale of the year. Yes, your Shell dealer has the size and quality you want at the price you want. If you need new tires or you're close to it, now is the time to buy during Shell's number one tire sale of the year. It's happening at all participating Shell stations, and I must give credit to Steve Schroeder, the kid who had 35 24 selected. And when he heard me say, we're not going to do 24 because there's only one and skipped to 25. His heart must have fallen 15 feet. Because he must have worked his bottom off there to get 35 of them. Uh, thank you, Steve, old buddy, for your kind interest. <laughs> Bo 
this 901 stereo speaker system, which has received uh, more rave reviews than any other speaker system before or since. It is absolutely unbelievable. That's the 901. Well, the Bose Corporation has recently come out with a new speaker. It's the Bose 501, which for $124.60 is said to really rival the sound of the Bose 901. And, of course, the 901 is very expensive. The Bose 501 is a direct reflecting system featuring a 10-inch bass speaker and is really worth listening to if it's realistic stereo sound reproduction you're after. And for a limited time, Pacific Stereo will allow you 120% of the normal trade-in value of your current used bookshelf speakers for the Bose 501. Now, the only catch is that the 120% of the normal trade-in value must come to less than the selling price of the Bose 501. They can't give you money back, you see. Trade to Bose now at Pacific Stereo in Berkeley, San Francisco, San Mateo, Walnut Creek, and Mountain View. A great deal at Pacific Stereo. Open till nine weekdays till five, Saturdays and Sundays. This is KSFO San Francisco. We told you that. It's uh, 831. And now a brief summary of what's new. Brought to you by KSFO News through the voice and talents of Chet Castleman. Good morning, sir. Good morning again to you, Jim. Tell us all about the good news in Paris. I will tell you, uh, we've got a new story that's uh, going to be rattling around for a little while yet. This one just in from Saigon a couple of minutes ago. Okay. Uh, unnamed military sources, and you'll see in a minute why they're unnamed, says U.S. warplanes have flown a major bomb strike on the North Vietnamese side of the DMZ yesterday in an apparently unauthorized raid. Uh, the raid was apparently an unauthorized attempt to destroy communist rocket sites that have been hitting Allied bases for a couple of weeks now. Uh, the sources say that the strike has caused such repercussions back in the nation's capital that a colonel is on his way out to the scene to find out who was responsible for it. Wow, uh, and just when things were going good in Paris, oh, yeah. huh? Yeah, you betcha. The target was supposedly right in the DMZ, so everybody's very upset, and they're going to get to the bottom of this thing right away and find out what it's all about. And that, of course, happened, too, at the same time they just announced 6,000 troops are on their way home from uh, pulling them out back there, and, and fighting is still uh, underway. All right. Uh, U.S. delegates to the Paris peace talks are studying that new proposal from the uh, communists, uh, which calls for letting uh, POWs go home at the same time American troops are pulled out under a mutually agreed-upon timetable, something new over there. Mm -hmm. Bill Hayward reports from down on the waterfront there's no action at all in the wake of a West Coast strike by longshoremen few pickets and uh, even fewer ships tied up at the piers. And a quick run through of the other labor situations. AC buses are running this morning. Airporter buses to San Francisco International are not. A strike by carpenters and tunnel workers against about 50 Northern California projects continues. And sheet metal workers are out on strike here in Northern California, too. Okay. So uh, I think way off in the distance, I hear the plaintive cry of uh, North Norga, 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 yeah? how many sardines in the box? Nils down my sardine for Norga. Ernie, if we store that salga sardine for Norga, I'll get well the opity for in the start. Yes, they have, Nils, thanks to you. Well, Ernie... For store, I'm a kind of for Dale and sardine from Norgum Summer. Oh, they certainly do, Nils. Now, some American housewives practically feature sardines from Norway during the summer. Where am they? Well, as you know, in the summer, people try to avoid cooking a hot meal. And since sardines from Norway fit on just about everything, bread, crackers, you name it, we find them very convenient for light, quick summer snacks for the family. May I get into this And excellent yeah. in salads, Nils. Betty, was for the sardine from Norgetti all the best? This one can be up top? Well, Americans know that sardines from Norway come from the cool, clear waters of your native fjords, and then they're ember smoked and hand packed. Yes, Nils, America knows. So they're making sure they only buy the best sardines from Norway. Thank you very much, Ernie. Min from Norway says, Talk to make it. This commercial for sardines from Norway was produced to be broadcast in Norway only. However, so it wouldn't be a total loss. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> that must have been a mistake, right? <laughs> Which I'd been taking notes, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, this isn't going to hoot and tie, huh? Yeah. <laughs> might know that Ernie Anderson would be the announcer. Certainly. <laughs> They're not going to hire Vince Polenny, I'll tell you that. Oh, yeah. No, sir. Uh, Norga, Norga, what's going on in the market? Market is up again this morning so far, Jim. After an hour's activity, Dow Jones Industrial's up almost three points. Average share up 14 cents. Okay. Oh, three and a half million shares. In sports, Dan Smith has advanced to the finals at Wimbledon, defeating Tom Gorman in a semifinal. Smith beat him in straight sets, but uh, being fair to Gorman, he wasn't playing with uh, he was playing with a very sore back and uh, couldn't reach for an overhead shot. 
or Ben to pick up a low ball a few times during the match. <laughs> Smith asked him if he could continue. I guess that's not very funny, but it breaks me up. It's not fair. People out there swinging that racket. And, and he can't hit it. Yeah. Giants and cards today, 1 o'clock. The sound of the city, the sound that I heard in Dotson dealer help you pick the perfect Dotson for you. He is the small car expert. It's 9.30 on the West Coast and specifically in the Bay Area, and this is KSFO. And we have a brief look at what's new, presented by Hibernia Bank. And one day away from vacation, here's Chet Castle. Oh, yeah. Yeah, thinking about that, huh, Chet? Oh, I think about that uh, quite frequently, yes, as a matter of fact. Mm. But not, know, that's not to say it isn't a joy and a delight to be here every morning, because it is, really. Oh, I know it's it. It's a great time. It's a shame to take the money, isn't it? Oh, yeah. No, well, it's, it's not. No, it's it. not. <laughs> yeah, all right. Hey, a late development out of Washington here, kind of a startling thing. Uh, oh, not so startling, maybe, but fascinating. Let's put it that way. Mm -hmm. House Commerce Committee has voted to cite CBS President Frank Stanton and the network for contempt of Congress. The vote uh, was about 2 to 1, 25 to 13. Stanton refused to give to a subcommittee all the material used in the production of that now famous documentary, The Selling of the Pentagon. Hmm. Uh, the full House has to vote on that now uh, before any further action come to, to the foreground. Uh, I, I tell you the truth, I don't understand the whole thing, but... Uh, well, you don't, well, he has been ordered by the uh, Congress to, to turn over to them all of the uncut, uh, the, the uh, outtakes of the film, the, the notes and the scripting and the interviews and all that sort of thing used in the making of the selling of the Pentagon. Yeah. And he said, absolutely no. He's just not going to do that I because that's not their property. The thing I don't understand is uh, do they have that right to ask for it? Is that uh, like a uh, subpoena or a jury trial? Or oh, yes. Uh, Congress uh, feels that they have the right to ask for it all. Right? I but, see. Uh, uh, the point here is that the Stanton's taking the position that no, they do not have the, the right to ask for it. And the courts will decide now. That's right. Okay. That's right. Okay. Right. Uh, let's see. An apparently unauthorized strike by U.S. warplanes on the North Vietnamese side of the DMZ has created uh, quite a stir. It's uh, reported that the Washington's so upset about the whole thing that they've uh, sent an investigator, the rank of colonel over that way, to find out who authorized that or who uh, who who got the thing in motion. Daniel Ellsberg says he's given more secret material on the Vietnam War to the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, but this, he thinks, is uh, more secret, more sensitive than the other uh, papers that he gave to the New York Times, so he doesn't want to release that to the public. Uh, communists say over in Paris they'll begin releasing U.S. prisoners of war the very day the United States starts withdrawing all its troops under a... A timetable that both sides can agree to. Mm, boy. All kinds of labor situations today. Uh, no use running through them all again. Anybody who's really interested, give us a call and we'll uh, we'll let you know. But the couple we haven't mentioned out in Mill Valley, about 50% of the city employees, that would be about 40 people, are out on strike. Uh, they want to get recognition for their union. Uh -huh. uh, Berkeley city employees and health and social planning departments were scheduled to go out on strike, but the word we have right now is that they have not. So, Why all at once does this happen? Oh, this is the first of the fiscal year. Oh, right. Contracts are up on the 30th of June. And right. 
And uh, all kinds of things all over the country. Copper, rails, and other folks either talking about it or actually going out on it. That's right. right, of course. So, there you are, and I'll get back to you with the sports in just a second. All right, we'll be waiting. When your banker looks too young, like he never knew you. Hibernia hope you have a good, easy-going vacation this year, so they've allocated a certain amount of money for vacation loans, money that's available for people who simply want a little extra to take care of vacation expenses. The rates are low, in fact, you won't find any lower. So before you go on vacation, look into Hibernia Vacation Loans, and remember them, because they will remember you. All right, Chet, the market, I guess. Market looks very good. Third day in a row. Now, after a couple of hours back on Wall Street, the industrials, Dow Jones Industrials, were up more than three and a half points. Your old average uh, share was uh, yes. 15 cents stronger. Ah, uh, 15. It was 14 earlier. Ah, uh, yes. Up. Things are looking better. I made almost a dollar this week. You know that? Well, that's right. Yes. Without even uh, doing very much. No. Yeah, in the stock market. Anyway. Yeah. Buy <laughs> six million shares. And in sports, it'll be Sam Smith against defending champ John Newcomb in the men's finals at Wimbledon. The Australian beating Ken Rosewall 6-1, 6-1, 6-3. After Smith had uh, eliminated a pretty well crippled up Tom Gorman, 6 3 8 6, six two, in the other semifinals. All right, one American and one Aussie in the finals. Yes, sir. Activity returns to Candlestick Park today where the Giants play the cards at 1 o'clock, 12.40 KSFO broadcast time, and what a gorgeous day for a ball game. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. So I'll see you a little... Oh, wait a minute. The sports quiz. I'll stand by. All right, here we, we have come. something. Yeah, wait a minute. Who's the Cardinals manager? Who's the Cardinals manager? Yeah, you got that? Yeah. Okay, who? That's a pretty tough one. Is it really? Yeah, it really is. Give it a go. Red Shandy. How do you spell it? S C H. S C H O E N D I S D T. I guess I don't know. Well, no, you were pretty close, but you weren't quite on it there. What's his number? Shandy's number? Oh, yeah. uh, let's see, that's a low number. Sammy played nine. How many? Nine. No. 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 One, one more hint. Yeah. It comes right after one. <laughs> three. No, two. No, two. Well, that's right. Two. <laughs> two. No, that's two. That's right. All right. You got that, huh? I knew it was a low number. That's right. Well, I was... I got the manager anyway, huh? That's right. Not I'm, too bad. And I'll send uh, Vic Paulson in with his uh, book on uh, cryptography in just a minute. All right, and some blue chip stamps. Well, that's right. Thank you. See you in a minute. All right, thank you, Gary. For the quiz, it's 24 before 10. <laughs>
speed that down just a little bit there, uh, Patrick. Uh, I have on the line here an old compadre of mine from Los Angeles, Jeff Edwards, who works for our sister station, or brother station, as you care to sex it, KMPC. <laughs> Hello, Jeff. Hey, man, how are you? I'm just fine. That's good. I want you to know a lot of people miss you down here. Well, thank you. It was, uh, gee, just great fun being there. You didn't know how, why they let me go, do you? No. I wasn't giving 100%. Is that right? Yeah, I was loafing. Uh-huh. Well, usually we just suspend people for that. I know. Oh, that's what I meant. I was suspended. I may be back. I want you to know, though, that the guy they hired, uh, it's his first time he's ever been on the air, and the ratings went right up. Uh-huh. Terrific. Okay. Well, thanks, Jeff. Yeah, except for a speech impediment, he's fine. I don't need this business anymore. I've found a new way to make a fortune. What's that? Selling uh, ammunition to the angels. Oh, boo. <laughs> Listen, that's okay. I, I uh, have a pretty good business you might want to get into. What's that? I have, I'm selling swordfish as outdoor thermometers. Uh, <laughs> well, now that we've gotten the bad jokes out of the way. Okay. Uh, what what are you going to do up Pebble Beach? You said you're coming to Pebble Beach. That's the reason I called. I don't know whether you'll be able to get down there or not, but uh, there's a big celebrity tennis match up there. Clint Eastwood is having his annual tournament, mm -hmm. and it's for the Behavioral Sciences Institute of Monterey. I don't know what that is, but I guess it's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> it must be. Huh? It must be. It's listed as a charity. Yeah, that's right. It's going to be July 3rd, 4th, and 5th at the Del Monte Lodge at the uh, tennis club there. Oh, are you and Marvy Sue coming up? Marvie, Sue, and I are going to be there. She's not going to play, but yeah. I am. And listen, listen to these stars are going to be there. All right. James Lloyd Bridges, Clint Eastwood, Ron Ely, James Franciscus, Merv Griffin, mm -hmm. uh, Claudine, Longer, John Marley, Doug McClure, George Papard, Dinah Shore, Dick Smothers, Robert Stack, uh, Jonathan Winters, Ephraim Zimbalist, Edgar Bergen, Abby Dalton, Wh William Windham, and more. Wow. So, uh, have you ever played tennis with Merv Griffin? I've never played much tennis at all, Jeff. I'm a golfer, really. You know that. But uh, yeah. uh, is Merv good? He's pretty good, yeah. uh, but you can't hit the ball hard uh, at him because he keeps smiling. He, well, you mean he smiles all the time he's playing? Yeah, and so you feel bad if, if you hit a shot against him. Doesn't he get bugs in his teeth? Uh, no, no, but, and you can't play against Johnny Carson either. Why? He takes off every fourth game. Uh, <laughs> all right. All right. No, can you come down? Uh, no, I have to work on the 5th of July. Uh, how did you get off? Well, uh, I'm is, still a star. Isn't there an ARB or anything? No, nothing. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I got off the same way you did when you went up to Pebble Beach. I'm taping 17 days. Yeah, I know it. That's the, well, that's a tough place to work, Jeff. I, uh, but I, I wish you all the luck in the world, and I know that a lot of the Bay Area people will be coming down to watch all the stars and uh, watch you, too. Yeah, if they want to get tickets, they can call uh, the tennis courts in Pebble Beach. It's going to be some fine tennis. There's some good players there, and they have... Uh, I've got to tell you, my partner, you're not going to believe this, the Count... Bertrand Davinet of Paris. Is he really a count? Yeah, he's flying in for the match. Yeah, on his own wings. <laughs> Goodbye. Blah, 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 blah. Goodbye. <laughs> Jeff Edwards in Los Angeles, and he's coming up to join the celebrities at Pebble Beach. That ought to be fun if you're a tennis fan. It's 19 before 10. When you say boy, you say a lot of things nobody else can It's um, 18 minutes before 10, and we've had an awful lot of requests. I guess the visitors are in town. The vacationers and relatives are telling them about the Ajax liquor store, you know, and now they're all calling and saying, oh, my aunt is in from Iowa. She's going to hear it. And the colonel is up from New Orleans, you know, and so on. So uh, we'll play it next, Ajax liquor store. And Tommy McHugh is also in town, and the thing was recorded at his golf club. If you just made uh, your 25 million something, you'd probably want to celebrate and let people know. Well, that's the way Delco feels, because the Delco plant in Anaheim, California, has now produced its 25 millionth Delco Energizer battery, and they're going to celebrate by giving away a little something. As a matter of fact, two lot of little somethings, a matched pair of silver, sort of, his and hers Chevy Vegas. You could be, as they say, the lucky winner. Just drop by a Delco dealer. You don't have to buy a thing. All you have to do is fill out an entry form and drop it in the mail, and the contest is only for Californians, and this contest closes August 31st, 1971. So you have a couple of months to get to it. Go see the Delco dealer near you. Pick up a contest entry form 
And by the way, while you're there, have them check out your battery and cables. Then you'll know how your car shapes up for reliable starting this summer. And who knows, you might win a lot of little somethings. The two Chevy Vegas. And now, I think I hear the phone ringing. Hey, Jack's Liquor Store. Uh, 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 Jack's Liquor Store? That's right, pal. <laughs> you, uh, you guys deliver? We deliver. Do you got any tequila? We have tequila. Tequila. Yeah. You yeah. got a quart? Quartz. We have quartz. I don't, I don't want. I don't want any quartz. All right. How much do you want? Uh, fifth. You want fifth? All right. Four fifths. Four fifths tequila. Four, four fifths tequila. Yeah. What do we got so far? <laughs> we got four fifths tequila. Make a bear make that five. Five fifths tequila. <laughs> five fifths tequila. Got that. Yeah, scotch. We have scotch. So you got any tequila? I think I've heard. Four. Four. Four fifths of scotch. Hello. Is this uh, the four fifths liquor store? That's right, pal. You listen to the yellow pages? Yes, we are listening to the yellow pages. How come you listen to the taxidermy? <laughs> That's impossible. Uh, well, I'm sorry. It was, it was what? It's impossible. Oh, I must have a couple of pages missing in my phone book. <laughs> what have we got so far? Five fifths of tequila, five fifths of scotch. You got any beer? We have beer. All right, okay. We have 16-ounce cans and 12-ounce cans. Okay. <laughs> well, how much do you want? This, uh, two cases. Two cases. All right, I've got that down. All right. Don't send any vermouth. All right, I won't send any vermouth. That makes my wife sick. <laughs> She's out of town, but I do it just in her memory. All right, okay. <laughs> We have, we have five fifths of tequila, five fifths of scotch, two cases of beer, one case of 16 ounce cans. You're just bringing us right on, up, right on up then, huh? Uh, all right, where do you want me to deliver? Up in my house. What? Where do you live? Up on the north side. On the north side? Yeah. Whereabouts on the north side? Up there by the Japanese amusement park. <laughs> the Japanese amusement park. Right? Bambi is a deer place there. Is that right? Where Bambi goes, nothing grows. Right. <laughs> You still there? I'm here. All right, don't you have any address, any numbers, or anything like that? Uh, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Let's yeah. see. All right. Five. 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 Two. 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 Well, that's not my address. That's my that's order. the order. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> you can find, I'll turn a big red light on. You Go can't ahead. miss it. Red light on. Okay. Uh, yeah. There's a big statue of a brindle great Dane dog out front. Oh. He's not going to bite, is he? No, he's just a statue. Just a statue. Okay. <laughs> we got five-fifths tequila, five-fifths of scotch, two cases of beer, one case of 16-ounce cans. No one... vermouth. No vermouth. I wouldn't send vermouth. And one case of... That's quite an order. Are you having a party? Huh? Are you having a party? No. Uh, I'm just trying to work up the nerve to go to confession. <laughs> <laughs> Fourteen minutes before 10 o'clock, that is it. <clears throat> That's the classic Ajax liquor store for all of the visitors to San Francisco whose hometown stations may have banned that because they're hitting home with that. <laughs> I heard uh, CB's line yesterday, which was beautiful. He says his uncle was a town drunk, which is not too bad, except he lived in New York City. This is Dave McElhatton on location today in the Alpha Beta Market at the corner of Fremont and South Mary in the city of Sunnyvale. And right now I'm talking with Mrs. Virginia White. What was it that uh, led you to Alpha Beta? There are a lot of different stores. They meet. I, I like the meat. How about the rest of the store? There are another ten or 20,000 items aside from the meat. Well, yes. I buy bread, fresh bread. And I, I just do my shopping here, the vegetables. And I think the people are very nice. They take good care of you? Yes, the checkers are very pleasant. What is it about the checkers that makes them so outstanding, do you think? If I cash a check or no matter what I do, they're just very pleasant. I just feel that um, they made my day. Were you surprised that Alpha Beta was as nice as it was? Well, I'd never been to an Alpha Beta store before, and I think it is nice. Now that you've been to one, you don't go to any others? No, I like to come here, and I go out of my way to come here. I don't live this close. Like Mrs. White of Sunnydale, shop Total Discount Alpha Beta and save. Pete, sit down a minute here. Pete uh, Scott just came in and... What? What am I sitting on? I don't know. You sat on a damn fucking book. There. And I just want to talk to you for a little while, Pete. I got your microphone on there. Good morning. Good morning. <clears throat> Why would you want to talk to me? I have no idea. Things are getting kind of dull. I just thought, you know, you I could bring it down to even the further usually level. Usually come up with some kind of sparkling conversation. No, not this morning. I'm just, uh, I'm just here uh, uh, trying to keep the uh, the place running smoothly as I usually do. I feel so relaxed today. I got most of the things that you have to do when you move into a house I have completed. 
Uh, like, well, for instance, well, like the TV the... is working. TV, they came out there on that. Seven trucks. Just Owner of the how company. How many sets do you have? I've, uh, well, I have three sets. Whoa. That's too many, huh? Yeah. Well, it, is, You've it isn't when you have uh, three different uh, television tastes in the family. Either. Well, they're organic sets. I know that. They are organic, right. And uh, the non, non-pollutants. non you, yeah. you still have the wood-burning sets. <laughs> no. That's very nice. No, no, I had to get rid of that. Oh. I the gas. Oh. But uh, that's in, and the Teleview company was just marvelous. The phone company was great. All the phones are in. The boxes are unpacked. Most of the things are put away. You know, and last night I spent what you might call a normal evening at home. What's a normal evening for Jim Lang, uh, celebrity? A normal evening, I have a couple of belts. Yeah. Then a couple of suspenders. And a couple <laughs> of whips. <laughs> and then I, you know, just chat with, uh, with the kids and... Had a little dinner, barbecue. Did you, did you do barbecue oh, out there? You don't almost, have a special small person that comes in and does I that barbecue for you? almost uh, three, four times a week. What do you? What kind of things do you barbecue? Ribs, pork chops, steaks, yeah. chickens, anything, roast, anything that uh, anything, anything little that, little that rabbit for lunch yeah. before before uh, uh, barbecue. Just throw it on and put some sauce on it and eat it. And uh, then I watch the ball game and uh, and listen and listen, listen to Lon. Listen to Lon yeah. uh, when he's when every. You listen to the radio. That's what I did. And you watched the game. I didn't do that. But yeah, I should have. Well, it doesn't... Well... And then I uh, went to bed with a reasonable hour, you know, 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock, your snuggy pies and your jam. That's, uh, that's the evening of a star, man. I like that. Doesn't sound too much different from... <laughs> no, not from the regular run-of-the-mill um, uh, felon. Can a car buyer find honesty in a new car showroom? The quiet men of old think so. Listen to Paul Boitana at Van Ness Oldsmobile, San Francisco. I won't sell a tack to a guy unless he uh, insists upon it. But I mean, you, don't, you don't overload a 98. You don't overload a, a Delta 88. Reg Martin, Jr., salesman at Pearson Automobile, Sunnyvale. I wish that more customers would come in and try our station wagons and the station wagons of the competitors. We feel that the Oldsmobile sells itself. Jerry Guineri, salesman at Lloyd A. Wise Oldsmobile, Oakland. Believe it or not, the salesman gets involved with the service end of it even after he sold the automobile. We have a full line of service, there's no doubt about that, and it's honest service. The quiet men of old speak softly and say a great deal. Go in and quiet test an old salesman today. See any one of the 15 Bay Area quiet men of old for a free demonstration ride. Uh, while we were talking there, Pete, the engineer was screaming, boring. Yeah, I know. Boring. It's your show, though. But I, <laughs> I take responsibility, right? That's right. I see. Well, uh, you know, now you, I told you how I spent my evening. How did you spend yours last night? I went over to Berkeley. Oh, you went to see Cat Stevens, huh? Actually, uh, I didn't go to see Cat Stevens. I went to see Taj Mahal. There was a group with him, huh? There was a, Taj Mahal was one person. It is? Yes. Hey. It's also a small palace in India. Uh, you but... a sports question. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, that's where I did. I went over in Berkeley, and I uh, let the freaks watch me. And I watched the freaks. And uh, everybody sat around in the theater and just, you know, we just grew, man. It was like weird. You know, kind of thing. I, can, I, can, I can hear that some of your friends are coming now. Can you dig it? Yeah. New Orleans, Montego Bay, Jamaica. San Juan, Puerto Rico. They're closer than you think on Delta Airlines. Delta has five services every day to New Orleans. Day economy fare is only $104, including tax. And from New Orleans, Delta flies straight through to Montego Bay and San Juan. For New Orleans or the Caribbean, call one of the professionals at Delta or see your friendly travel agent. Delta is friendly when you are.
<laughs> that's He's So Fine, and uh, that's, of course, uh, an older tune than My Sweet Lord, although they both have the very same melody line. And Jody Miller did it. That's her latest. It's five and a half minutes before ten. More and more, folks are finding out about Falstaff, about how it's a whole new beer the way we're brewing it these days, a little lighter, a little more delicious, and finding out it's just the thing to have cooling in the refrigerator on long, warm days. Any wonder, then, that we call Falstaff the beer for a summer's afternoon. I like you and I like you Falstaff Brewing Company, which is located in San Jose, California, among other places. I'm going to go get my personalized license plate today. Yes, sir. Cost me $25 to fight pollution, but I have now a license plate which is distinctive. It says, yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. Think of it as money. Think America. Think of it as money. Today, people everywhere think of Bank AmeriCard as money. At restaurants and clothing stores, gas stations and garden supply stores, at drug stores, discount stores, lumber yards, in all 50 states. So when you shop, why not think of Bank AmeriCard as money too? The most convenient form of money for shopping. Backtrack tunes, one less bell to answer. Dan Sorkin, 1005. Don't go away. About a minute and a half now before 10. There are moments I remember so in my Kodak has made remembering easier than ever with a new Kodak Instamatic X camera. Just drop in the film and you're ready to save every moment in color snapshots or even color slides. And indoors, no more worry about flash batteries. Just pop on a magic cube and shoot. Because Kodak Instamatic X cameras take flash pictures without flash batteries. Kodak makes your pictures count. For a limited time only, Kodak Instamatic X cameras come in a special smile saver kit for less than $25. Get one soon. Let's try it again. I think we got to the end of the thing, huh? Oh, dear. 
Well, this uh, show's ending on an exciting note here today. The records are being knocked off the turntables, and the theme won't go, so I am. I will see you tomorrow. Remember what I always say, don't get into radio. <laughs> You're being suspended for not giving your full effort, Pat. It's 10 o'clock. This is KSFO, San Francisco. And now with the news, here's Bobby. This is KSFO News presented by Renault. Test drive a Renault at your nearest dealers and find out what road love is all about. Another move against the president of CBS, Frank Stanton. The House Commerce Committee is voting by a fairly substantial margin to cite Stanton and the network for contempt unless they get broadcast film shot for the controversial documentary, The Selling of the Pentagon. This is Committee Chairman Harley Staggers. We must have those outtakes in order to determine not only what has been told us, but whether many other outtakes were wrong in what they have presented to the American public and said was the truth. Speaking on behalf of the minority, California Representative Lionel Van Dulen. I voted against it, and I think that if the uh, House itself doesn't overturn this uh, contempt citation, the court certainly will. An apparently unauthorized U.S. strike over North Vietnam has official Washington in a furor. Spokesmen saying they can't even confirm that a strike took place. But apparently there's a colonel on his way to Saigon to determine who was responsible. Dr. Daniel Ellsberg is admitting he gave additional documents on that Pentagon study of the Vietnam War to the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, documents he considers too sensitive to release to the papers. Committee Chairman J. William Fulbright says he locked the papers in a safe without reading them. At least five strikes in the Bay Area this morning. The major walkout affecting the entire West Coast as longshoremen walked off the job from Los Angeles to Seattle. The longshoremen are after a two-year contract that includes increased wages, pension benefits, and the hiring of more younger men. Will this be a long strike? Well, an ILWU picket on San Francisco's waterfront ponders that one. Uh, no work and no work and ship could stand a long strike, but uh, basically it's a question now where we just have to, because if we continue working at the rate we're going, we'll be, uh, well, everybody will probably be on home relief in a short time. Because we have guys in our organization at the present time who are receiving food stamps because they don't get enough work. Carpenters and tunnel laborers remain off the job, and sheet metal workers are idle. Airport or buses remain stalled, though cab service is normal. And about half of Mill Valley's municipal employees are off the job, while talks progress toward a contract. Police and fire are not affected. And today marks the beginning of the third straight year that California has started off without a budget and only limited power to spend money. A six-man conference committee is supposed to have a budget together today for the governor's signature. Meanwhile, a spokesman for the State Employees Association says they'll stay on the job, but if the budget goes for a long period of time without being signed, they just may change their minds. And the Paris peace talks are in recess after the communists proposed a new plan to break the two-year-old deadlock. That pr plan, promising to release American POWs the day the U.S. starts moving out all its troops from Vietnam. We'll have more news in a moment. People will agree that um, gas tanks are pretty boring because there just aren't many things you can do with a gas tank except fill it. Well, in the Renault 10, we have a gas tank pretty much like gas tanks in other cars. It empties automatically while you drive, which isn't something we cleverly plan. Uh, what we did plan is for our gas tank to empty very slowly. Now, the amount of slowness that the tank empties is called mileage. Uh, the Renault 10 holds 10 gallons and will take you about 350 miles. Or another way to say it is up to 35 miles to a gallon. That's very slow emptying of the gas tank, or good mileage. So while gas tanks are usually boring, the uh, Renault 10's gas tank is kind of exciting if you're uh, easily excited. For a test drive in a Renault, visit Marin Bay Lincoln Mercury Sales Incorporated, 3rd and Lincoln Avenue, San Rafael, or Ralph Vesper Motor Company, 952 Santa Rosa Avenue, Santa Rosa. This just in, in his first comment after the Supreme Court ruling on the Pentagon Papers, Attorney General John Mitchell says, all avenues of criminal prosecution remain open. That's a quote. Despite the Supreme Court's historic 6-3 to decision, 
to permit publication of the secret Pentagon Papers on the Vietnam War. Wall Street Report, the Pacific Coast Stock Exchange, reports the stock market at 12.30 New York time had lost some of the earlier gains but was still up on the day. The Dow Jones Industrials up two points at that time. Advances led decline 7 to 4. KSRO Sports reports it'll be American Stan Smith and Australian John Newcomb in the men's singles finals at Wimbledon. Smith beating Tom Gorman and Newcomb doing the same to Ken Rosewall in today's semis. As for the ladies, Margaret Court and Yvonne Goolagong play in their title match tomorrow. Ron Bryant gets the call as the Giants open a three-game series with the St. Louis Cardinals today. One o'clock is game time at Candlestick Park, 12.40 for the KSFO broadcast. The Giants trying to open up that six-and-a-half game division lead. The A's have a day off to travel. They play the Angels tomorrow. Weatherman says fair through tomorrow, except for the usual low coastal clouds drifting in the night and mornings. Highs today in the 70s. The extended forecast calling for more of the same through the weekend and in the mountains, fair and slightly warmer through tomorrow. That's KSFO News presented by Renault. For your nearest dealer, see the yellow pages and test drive a Renault. Bob Hansen reporting, KSFO News is everywhere.